Kenya, my motherland. In this country, those born a power woman in a powerhouse. My name is Miss Mweni, and this is my YouTube channel. Welcome. morning uh, Kenyans it's nice seeing you again back here you know how I miss you and how I love you keep supporting Miss Mweni and today on set again I have my lovely friend Dr. Susan Gita and this day today we are tackling relationships eh? relationships I know Kenyans when you hear about relationships everyone on this world when they hear about relationships they get very excited so Dr. Ari, welcome again thank you Mweni you. look so lovely thank you mm -hmm. And uh, just to, to start the conversation, mm -hmm. what defines a relationship? There's so many factors that define a relationship. And uh, I would like to say probably to make it very simple, yeah. it's uh, you and I, you and somebody else. It's just the way people interact mm -hmm. and uh, exchange energies. Mm -hmm. And so you can have positive energy. So we talk of a positive relationship. You can exchange negative energies and we can talk about negative or toxic relationships. Uh, we can talk a lot about relationships. Uh, I wonder where you would like us to really focus <laughs> on. <laughs> I, I... Probably we can talk about general relationships. How you need to relate with a child, a friend, a mother, a partner, general relationship. Mm -hmm. And then later we can also speak about uh, the toxic a, a, a partner relationship a man to woman mm -hmm. relationship so for starters a quick one let's just pick it up from there wow yeah yes. you're right <laughs> it's like you've already defined all the relationships we yes. could talk about mm -hmm. but we can begin down there mm -hmm. when you talk about a mother mm -hmm. and their child mm -hmm. there should be a very affectionate yeah. relationship to okay. develop secure attachment mm -hmm at a very tender age mm -hmm. so that when people grow up mm -hmm. and they want to develop intimate partner relationships yeah. they will not have mistrust that is from nowhere okay. because the mother and the baby bonded mm -hmm. in a secure way okay. because there there is a tendency of people not bonding very well mm -hmm. with their parents when and especially their mothers when they are young mm -hmm. and uh, if we talk about toddlers yeah. if there is a father it is very important for you to be there yes so that if it's a daughter, they will have a healthy relationship later in life yeah. with men. Yeah. If it's uh, a son, the same thing. Uh, we do have now other relationships, like even teacher-learner mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, true. Because some teachers destroy people mm -hmm. completely, yeah. and they're not able to be made later in life. Others do build the yeah. learner. Yeah. So we can also talk about um, mm -hmm. or peer relationships, mm -hmm. uh, and that is very, Highly shouted mm -hmm. in teenage. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, the people also have the like yeah. age mates, mm -hmm. uh, colleagues also mm -hmm. at the workplace, mm -hmm. and so you can define relationship in different ways. Okay. But I guess the one that troubles very many people over the, the world to woman. is actually the mm -hmm. man to woman or what we call intimate partner uh, relationships. Okay. Because today we have very many relationships. Mm -hmm. Many. I don't mm -hmm. lie about mm -hmm. man or woman. Well. I don't want to lie about. Uh, so it's an intimate so relationship. Yes. That's, that's why. That's what I want to call yeah. it. Okay. Intimate partner relationship, mm -hmm. uh, and, and I think that is one that is quite destructive. Okay. Uh, because in most cases, before I could meet with my mother, my mm -hmm. father, my brother, my sister, mm -hmm. my workmate, mm -hmm. and it's okay if that relationship ends. Mm -hmm. I can move on. Mm -hmm. Uh, probably the one that I would say people is you move on with like your uh, friends in high school, mm -hmm. college and then workplace. Yeah. If somebody really doesn't want to work with you, mm -hmm. you can move on. Okay. But those relationships that are family mm -hmm. and then the intimate partner mm -hmm. relationship, they are difficult when they are broken. Or so um, do we still have loyalty in relationships? We do have. And I guess because... <laughs> <laughs> people are surviving because of uh, we have acquaintances and friends because uh -huh. the generation right now they uh -huh. say I, I, I hear there's a quote that say if you're in trouble uh -huh. show me five of your friends that will come uh -huh. 
when you're in trouble. Five, only five angel loyalty. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and they may not come because of different uh, reasons. Mm -hmm. I do want to really put it in a negative way because okay. uh, I think we have put a lot of pressure, expectations on the current generation. Okay. And we are not asking ourselves what have we done or not done to help them relate in a better way or functional way. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so for me, big questions, I like approaching things objectively yeah. so that we can help yes. the current yeah. generation yeah. you're talking about. Yeah. And I, when I, we talk about this, I think about my son, yeah. I think about yeah. you. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you, you, you're saying that we still have loyalty. You have people who are oh, loyal. They're still there. I don't want to say there because isn't. I, 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 have, I meet people, mm -hmm. whether when, you, when we engage, people say they can no longer trust anymore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's, that's why the question of uh, loyalty came in. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you're very trust, because me, I, I am very trust. You know, I can <laughs> trust you. Yeah? yeah. But I think what would be your advice to people who out there are very trusting and how can they go about it? Because people feel so heartbroken mm -hmm. when they trust you and you betray that trust. And you know what? You cannot uh, determine how people are going to treat you. Yeah. But you can determine how you're going to respond mm -hmm. to their untrustworthiness. Okay. Because they can, they can, they can let you down. Mm -hmm. They can betray you. Mm -hmm. Uh, but how prepared are you? I guess that's that's the biggest yes, question yes, yes. that I like asking people mm -hmm. that uh, children who are brought up in very secure mm -hmm. family settings, mm -hmm. they tend to trust the environment okay. because their parents taught them to trust. Mm -hmm. But who do you find out there? Mm -hmm. who, who is that person out there? Mm -hmm. And I guess that's what I need to prepare young people for, mm -hmm. that I can go out there and find people who are not like me, find people who are not brought up like me, people who don't have similar values. Mm -hmm. So how am I supposed to ensure that I still thrive in the presence of that difference that uh, I can be let down? Somebody can, can mask they love me. Uh, how am I supposed to know, you know? And, and this is where I say that uh, if you build the inner person, yeah, through mindfulness, the inner person never lies. Ask people and they will tell you that uh, even though so and so broke my heart, so and so uh, broke my trust. I, I used to see the red flags, but they ignored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we what if, that's it. Mm -hmm. What if that inner you is nurtured? Mm -hmm. To an extent, mm -hmm. you don't allow yourself to get to that level of brokenness. Okay. What is the time duration that someone is supposed to be in a relationship before marriage? It depends. <laughs> for example, <laughs> if you are 45 and 50, yeah. why should you say date for? Three years. Yes. <laughs> well, there's no time. <laughs> and I'm telling you, after 30 years, we always say that people are already aware of so many things. Yeah. They have experiences in their lives. Mm -hmm. So they can even date for six months, depending mm -hmm. on um, whether they have everything clear, mm -hmm. whether they are also seen a, a relationship therapist mm -hmm. or a premarital therapist. Mm -hmm. So that if they, they want to, to settle down, there are things that you can't not fully know about a person okay. because you change in every setting. Mm -hmm. When you get into the marital system, again, this person presents differently because now you're operating from a marriage system. Mm -hmm. Before it was me, me, mm -hmm. and we were having our, uh, our romantic relationship, but the reality hits you when you start living under the same roof. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm going to present myself differently. Mm -hmm. So it's about navigating the different relationship dynamics. Okay. Yeah, that's basically what I, I, I say. Okay. Uh, but we also say below 30 years, mm -hmm. especially for men, mm -hmm. if a man gets to 30, they automatically know mm -hmm. if they have really not been poisoned mm -hmm. along the way, they know what they want. Okay. They are clear about their goals. Mm -hmm. And for the ladies, because uh, ladies mature faster than men mm -hmm. in so many ways. Mm -hmm. And even the way they think about life is it's, it's yeah. really broad. Mm -hmm. Uh, even by age 26, 27, and latest 28, yeah. they also know exactly what they want. Yeah. And those are the people you're like, they are also balancing their career. Mm -hmm. They are also defining what they really want in life. So even the courtship, if it's two to three years before settling down, yeah. good for them. Okay. Yeah. So in short, you think that it's, we need to take time. We need to take time. Oh, yeah. And if you settle down because people are different, yeah. you may want to say that I want to go risk with you. I'm ready to be committed. Uh, probably like for the Christians, yeah. they do not want to get into temptations. Yes. They can settle earlier. Mm -hmm. 
If they do, they shouldn't have children very fast. They should first nurture the relationship. Okay. And that is where now people can be, that, yeah. yes, yeah, it's, it's sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Unless there are other factors like yeah. medical factors mm -hmm. that would push you to get babies earlier, yeah. you can decide, may I know you mm -hmm. as you know me. Yeah. But we are in a secure, mm -hmm. legal, mm -hmm. uh, matrimonial relationship. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. we can continue loving each other, mm -hmm. uh, having fun with each other, mm -hmm. but in marriage where I'm secure. Because mm -hmm. these days what worries me a lot is that people can hop from one relationship to another yeah and you don't know the woundedness yes. in those people yeah. uh, until you don't believe in anything. Mm -hmm. Then at the end of the day, people are getting from one abusive relationship yeah. to another yeah. or the abused turns the abuser. And so you're finding people also normalizing abuse yeah. in relationships. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you're surprised with the increased cases yes, of, of sexual and yeah. gender-based violence or yes, even suicide. Yeah. I take you through I, I don't know whether it shocked you, what we saw shocked, in Machakos. Yes, yes, uh, a 20, was it a 29 or 28 year yes, old yeah. committed suicide with... Even in Akuru, uh, last, was it on mm -hmm, Thursday or mm -hmm. Friday? Yes. Mm. Yeah, last week, there was yeah. a 25. Mm -hmm. She jumped over the bridge on the road. Yeah. And, and, and these are things women are dealing with in, yeah. the, in their families and they're not able to handle. Wow. Yeah, so wow. I don't know what, what's the message of hope that we can give to them. I think at first I would like to say that we need to watch over brain damage okay. in relationships yeah. because when you get into a relationship that is abusive, mm -hmm. your brain is damaged, your brain is damaged yeah. and when it is damaged, yeah. you don't reason. Yeah. So you focus more on feelings yeah. and emotions can be damaging mm -hmm. because every time you want to think straight, mm -hmm. there is a hollowness emotion. Yeah. Okay. There is guilt coming in, there is fear coming in, there is sadness coming in and you feel so empty. Yeah. So slowly by slowly, you can sink into depression. And depression, we always say, yeah. it is actually the highway to suicide. Okay. So, so we need to watch over brain damage in a very big way. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is where I am training people today. Mm -hmm. uh, a practice called Videos mindful, yes. mindful self-compassion, mm -hmm. that even when it feels very bad, can I allow the pain to build me instead of breaking me? And, and that brings me to my next yeah. question before I, we get to the toxic part. Mm -hmm. What is emotional intelligence? Do you mind breaking it just a little bit down? Mm. Just to make it also very simple. Yeah, simple yeah. This is the ability uh -huh. to be aware okay. of yourself okay. in three ways. Mm -hmm. The way you think, mm -hmm. that I'm able to, think, to, to capture my thoughts right now, mm -hmm. the way I feel. Mm -hmm. Can I know what I'm feeling? There are very many people yeah. I ask, how are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. What is okay? So you either tell me yes. you're feeling anxious yes. or fearful, uh -huh. guilty. You know, we have the big five. Yes. Or you are feeling guilty, fearful, angry, you know, yeah. hurt. Yeah. And I can even tell you to give me the babies of those big emotions, mm -hmm. like disappointed, yeah. frustrated. Yeah. But people tell you, I'm okay, I'm good. Mm -hmm. There is no emotion like good or so okay. You, you have a mixed feeling. You need to know exactly yeah. how you're feeling. Okay and even communicate that to that person. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's how abuse escalates, yes. that I'm not able to tell somebody how I'm feeling. Oh so they keep messing me up, keep messing me up, because I can't say it. Yeah. The other thing you need to track in emotional intelligence is my behavior. What am I doing right now? Okay. I don't know whether you've ever seen people who have this um, addictive behavior, but they are not aware it's yeah. even messing them up. So we say, be aware of your thoughts, feelings, and actions, again, be aware, if it's a relationship, mm -hmm. be aware of your partners. Mm -hmm. the, the, yes. same, the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are people, I don't yeah. know whether when you're growing up, like I was, mm -hmm. uh, people used to have this mchongo or no, yeah. you know. And they say, wase, 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 wase. Yeah. And then, <laughs> uh -huh. but you could not pick the other person yeah. is getting yeah, angry, angry and, and enraged. Mm -hmm. And the next, is, the next thing that yeah. they are raining bros yeah. on you and you're like, what did I do? Yeah. That emotional intelligence, even in relationships, mm -hmm. can I know? Mm -hmm. And how does that develop? Mm -hmm. That is a practice I'm taking people through. Okay. That I can be able to feel you okay. even before you have talked. Okay. Can I feel you? We, we are not that deep these days in relationships. Yes. No, 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 no. Yeah. People are here, superficial, masking. Mm -hmm. 
such that uh, we all look in as if we are na narcissists. Yeah. You know? That's what, that's yeah, what it's me, yeah. me, me world. Yeah. That's what has it has turned out it to be. It brings us to selfishness yeah. in yeah. relationships. Yeah. You, you're being kind of a bit selfish. Mm -hmm. I, they say, of course, you have to be selfish to some extent. You have to protect yourself. Yes. But I think if you're in a relationship with someone, mm -hmm. it has to be about the two of you. Yeah. You can't just you can't make a decision on your own. Mm -hmm. You have to engage when it comes to decision making and and all that. Yeah. And I think that's what is a problem personally for me. That's what I feel. That's, this is my take mm -hmm. uh, as as you give. Mm -hmm. I, I feel it is a problem because it also leads to a lot of toxic relationships. Awesome. Yes, and that's where we are going to. So I and and, and because we are heading that direction. Mm -hmm. We are headed there in a very big way <laughs> because yeah. I don't understand how, yeah. for example, we were dating, we were going yeah. on very well, or you were my spouse, yeah. and all of a sudden you decide to leave us, and you, you don't even care how I'm bringing up the children yes. or the baby yeah. or whatever, yeah. you don't care. Mm -hmm. What exactly do you want? And what makes you different from a narcissist, yeah. somebody who doesn't care how much pain they in, in, they inflict on other people yeah. and move on yeah. as if nothing Has happened. So Tell me. It's, it's interesting and I, I think you're in a better position to answer that because yeah. you meet a lot of single women, single mm -hmm. mothers, you oh, yes. a lot of uh, maybe uh, guys. Even single left, men. Single men. Mm -hmm. Guys have been left by the women. So yeah. A woman just walks away. I have, mm -hmm. I have a friend of mine. Yeah. I would not mention in this platform because they trust mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. to share that. And, and I think uh, maybe one of these days when he's able enough, he's a man. Yeah. And he's been going through, mm -hmm. he's been a single father for quite some time. Wow. And... Uh, he tells me he feels like he's not the problem. The woman is the problem because he's not able to. They don't relax. Mm. She doesn't find peace in him, and but the man does not find peace in her. So wow. what kind of advice would you give them? Because she feels like the woman is so toxic. Mm -hmm. So she tells he tells me if he goes back to that relationship, we're going to pick him dead. Wow. So these are stories that happen relationship wise. Mm -hmm. So how do we go? about it. Wow. Yeah. A lot of negative energies mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. When somebody tells you that uh, if they go back, they might come out dead and we have seen that. Uh, what I would like to say is that uh, people need to be very genuine about yeah. their relationship. Okay. How did they begin their relationship? When did the relationship start changing, you know? And what changed it? Was it infidelity? Was it neglect? Was it a selfishness? Mm -hmm. Was it lack of uh, probably commitment? Mm -hmm. Was it challenges, socioeconomic challenges in the relationship? Whatever it is, mm -hmm. how did it change your relationship? Mm -hmm. And what I have found, especially in relationships that are toxic, are toxic mm -hmm. there is a lot of infidelity. Yeah. And infidelity doesn't necessarily mean that I'm unfaithful in terms of emotions, mm -hmm. but I'm unfaithful intellectually. You know, there are people who bring you down. They, they knew they got you when you are a Form 4 yes. uh, graduate. Yeah. And they are probably a postgraduate or they are, uh, this is it. But now they keep hammering it on you. Hmm? Why are you again like a foolish? Why, why are you again like someone who never went to school? And they know it. They know where. I, they destroy you. They destroy you. With painful words. Mm -hmm. yeah. Painful. They can also look at your body image. Yeah. I hear things in my work and I'm like, surely, yeah, are you thinking about the other person's feelings? So we need to find out what made the relationship change okay. so that we can work with that okay. because relationships are different. Okay. The other thing I like to say about uh, dealing with toxic relationships is to find out, mm -hmm. did I get someone who was whole, mm -hmm. functional, mm -hmm. or I got someone mm -hmm. who had holes? and holes that were never sealed. Oh my God. Yeah. Did I get somebody who Hole is, who is, holes? yes, yeah. Okay. Is it, did I get somebody who was abused as a child? Mm -hmm. And now when, when I start rating with them, some things happen in our relationship and they do happen. Mm -hmm. Then I trigger that abused, that sick child in them. Yeah. Do people talk about these things? They don't know. And, 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 and I should ask, how do you find out on that note you are the toxic, toxic person in that relationship. And uh, you know what, in a relationship, mm -hmm. we don't even say this one is better than the other. Yeah. Because when I'm pointing at you like this, mm -hmm. what are you doing? 
because there are women who come and they tell me, you know, when I, I hear him, he starts talking, talking, I keep quiet. And you think you've been very nice. Yeah. You are actually killing them emotionally. Yes. Because they don't know what your response is. Mm -hmm. So I, I want to say in toxic relationships, there's very poor mm -hmm. communication. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Poor, ineffective, mm -hmm. destructive. Mm -hmm. So even when people are giving feedback, it's not constructive. Mm -hmm. It is all destruction, yeah. all negative. Yeah. And so I can be toxic. Maybe I'm the one who started it, mm -hmm. but I also invite the same. Oh. So you, we, you get to talk about toxic relationships. But we do have some people mm -hmm. that, uh, of course, there is always the one who is higher than the other. Mm -hmm. And so they are the, the plane of victim. Mm -hmm. And so in toxic relationships, you can find a victim mm -hmm. and you can find a perpetrator. Oh. And, and, and I would like people to go read deeper about oh, okay. emotional distancer uh -huh. and emotional pursuer. So if those oh. people come into, our, into my therapy, mm -hmm. the one who is an emotional pursuer is, the always, is always the one who wants to mend things. Mm -hmm. The oh. ones who want things to be better. better. Okay. Is the one who is the placator to please. Yeah. Try, yes. <laughs> try. But the other one, the more you try, the more they are running away. You, 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 whatever you're doing is zero. And the minute you stop, you find them coming back. back. Yeah. But how many people are aware of that? How many? Really? That when I keep off. That is deep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's when the other person starts wondering what happened. Mm -hmm. They are not pursuing well, me she anymore. Does that. Uh -huh. she does that. It's because you have to change. Okay. But, but how many people? are reflective over what they do every day. Mm -hmm. How many people are aware they have allowed themselves to be doormats in a relationship? Wow. How many? Like somebody keeps asking you for money yes. and telling you oh, they are cutting deals here that are not having a breakthrough and you keep giving them money, keep giving them money, mm -hmm. but you're not asking yourself tough questions, right? Mm -hmm. uh, they keep telling you, you know, I was late because we have late assignments. Yes. At times you call and you're like, no, that person is not calling me. Yeah. We're not talking from our workplace. Yeah. But you're like, anyway, I, I love him. Yeah. I love her. It is uh -huh. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Somebody keeps telling you they are broke and you keep giving them money. And you're not asking them or putting them to task. Or how did you use the money? Yes. So, Accountability. Or somebody, you keep meeting them with friends. Mm -hmm. And they're telling you, oh, don't worry. And they're hugging them. And you know, love okay. relationships. Yes, yeah. And you're taking it, yeah. you're taking it, you're feeding it. So it's, it's good to be reflective. Yeah. And it's it good matter. to allow yourself to be mindful. Okay. Mindfulness means mm -hmm. don't deny anything, okay. whether positive or negative. Yeah. Live in the moment. Oh. Because when things become very toxic, mm -hmm. people start living in the past. And especially women. They keep reminding you of what you did 10 years ago, five years ago. And the men don't have that big storage. Mm -mm. And then at uh, the end of the day, the man gets tired. Yeah. They also don't have very many words to explain what they're feeling and thinking. They are more of doers than feelers. And so people need to be, I think it's time people went to school yes. for building relationships. Okay. Yeah. So, uh... What do I do when I meet this toxic person, when I'm in a relationship with this toxic person? In most cases, they are very attractive. Uh, so you will be attracted to them. Oh. Oh, yes. Are they manipulative? Quite. Okay. But majority of them, according to me, they need help. More, more than judgment. Okay. Yeah. Our work is more of healing, helping people to recover, helping people to just replace the, the steps if they lost them, okay. that made them uh, people that are honorable, mm -hmm. people that can enjoy life, because even them, they don't enjoy life. Uh, Believe you, man. Ay, how do you move from one relationship to another? When will you ever enjoy it? It's not, <laughs> it's not time to enjoy, yes. you know? Because you're, you're mixing yourself, mm. you have mixed Oh, completely. And let me tell you. Rachel, to me, you come out, and you know that, yeah. why I tell you it's sad for me? Mm -hmm. When I deal with such people, mm -hmm. I look at how much loss and grief they go through. Yeah. Because every relationship you lose, there is loss and grief. Oh my God, yeah, do I agree? So at the end of the day, these are the people who become very depressed. Mm -hmm. 
and you're asking, I used to see this girl with so many men. What happened? Now she just brings herself silly. I used to see this guy with so many ladies and all that. What happened? Because they are losing one after another. And so when they are in a constant uh, grief and bereavement, oh yes, yeah. So they become depressed and people don't know. Yeah. And then they, they, if they, they try self-medication with drugs, there's a point, it doesn't work, they, doesn't they become, become suicidal. Mm, and so for, for me, I'm like, what is making this person behave the way they do? And I would also ask them right now. That's a question. Positive. Why can't you, why yeah. can't you stay with one partner? Yeah. Yeah. Very important. Why? Mm. You know? Is, is, it, is that achievable? I keep it is achievable. Yeah, because we have the loyal type, you know. You didn't even say your parents separate. No, no, no. You didn't see them leave each other. You know, that is, today, at the moment they're still together. My that family. is the model yeah. that was planted in you. Yeah. So parents also, w w how are they relating with their children? Okay. How are they relating with each other mm -hmm. in the presence of their children? Because that's a script that is permanent. Mm -hmm. uh, about loyalty mm -hmm. and uh, is it achievable having one partner? It's achievable mm -hmm. and it's enjoyable. Mm -hmm because you learn so many things with that one partner. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it also teaches you to be patient, mm -hmm. to be tolerant mm -hmm. at the same time. Yeah. It also teaches you to be compassionate. Okay. And I think many relationships lack empathy mm -hmm. and compassion, okay. where I can think about your suffering. Mm -hmm. I can imagine your pain mm -hmm. as your partner mm -hmm. and, and go an extra uh, step mm -hmm. to do something to help you alleviate that suffering. Okay, so this thing of side chicks and clandies, what you talk about? It's escapism. <laughs> it's a defense mechanism, and it's for cowards. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah. It's okay. for cowards of love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And you will never enjoy life. Yes. Yeah, you will never. 100%. Yes, because it's because kind of different. thrilling yeah. when you're doing that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't last. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Because I see a majority of young people mm -hmm. A majority of young people mm -hmm. who are in campus right now, and let's say this generation of ours, mm -hmm. they prefer having a sponsor. Yeah, and there are many reasons. Some than having a, a stable relationship. Yeah, and you see, this is what we are saying: the trend mm -hmm. in relationships. Yeah. And um, I feel for them because yeah. I have dealt with them, mm -hmm. you know. And they tell me that one day when the reality strikes, I realize I'm, I'm relating with my father or I'm relating with my mother. And probably it's because of the trend. You want to drive a good car. You want to have a good home. You want to dress well. You don't want to sweat for it. And you could be meeting these people that you're thinking are very good to you, but they are sexual perverts. So they are go going also to destroy you. You get the point? Yeah. Because if I find an old woman 50 years and I am a young man of 25, mm -hmm. what is she doing with me mm -hmm. rather than abusing That's me? That's a good question. Yeah. I think we'll pick up on that next time. Yeah. Uh, this, I think this one calls for a part two. Let me tell you. It's, it's relationships are deep. We need to talk need to more talk. and yeah. deeper. Yeah. yeah. And, and so as we, as we just wind up, as we finish on that, um, uh, what causes a lot of divorce, like especially during this time of COVID? It's the reality of COVID-19. Uh, people have discovered that they kept piling one issue after another. The fact that we did not deal with these issues uh, and we had lots of es escape routes like workplace, uh, pubs, you know, now after nine you so can't be. Uh -huh. Now they are with you under the same roof. And these ghosts the are coming out. Mm -hmm. And you don't know what to do. It's just too much. You know, I'm having people confessing. Because uh, I, I meet clients mm -hmm. locally and internationally. Mm -hmm. And they're like, what? This COVID? Actually, they begin by telling me, this COVID? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, it's not COVID. COVID is just a virus. Yeah. Are you positive yeah. with COVID-19? No. Mm -hmm. So it's you. Yeah. Let's talk about you yeah. and your relationship. Okay. So it's the truth and the reality that is coming out mm -hmm. to show how relationships have been. So to me, they should enjoy this moment yeah, and, 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 and just build that relationship. Okay. Deal with the demons in that relationship. Okay. Deal with themselves also. And stop, the stop being babies. Oh yes, yeah. or shows like this one of yeah. yours, you know? Yeah. You're trying. Yes. 
I wish you could focus only on relationships. Yeah. You could heal depression. Mm -hmm. You could heal brokenness. Yes. You could heal dysfunctional parenting. Mm -hmm. Just talking about relationships. Relationships. It's a white topic. I've been talking about it for some time. Yes. And I think the next, uh, we'll have to pick this one mm -hmm. on our next show. So we promise guys to come back with uh, probably oh, yes. a part I... two of this. Because we, we feel like we have a lot to share. Oh, yes. And uh, we have just touched base on it. Yeah? Sure. So as, as we wind up, what do you look at that camera and tell a person who is at home and who is in a toxic relationship and they feel like uh, a, they have been breached the wall, pushed the wall. They don't know what to do. Uh -huh. Yeah? So what do you have to tell them? Hi. Hello there. We love you. If you are aware right now that you're in a toxic relationship the first thing is to accept you're in one the next thing if you really feel it's too overwhelming you can't walk through it alone we are here you can catch us on 0722-367619 or you can go to our social media platforms we will still get to you it depends on what you like i would also like you not to walk alone who is your friend it could be one it could even be a sister a brother a high school mate, college mate, get one person, at least you're going to tell, this is too hot for me. This relationship is toxic. Why? Because if anything happens, we're going to have your story. We have seen so many things happening. We have seen deaths. We want you to enjoy life because you are created to enjoy life. You are created to enjoy relationships. You are created to stay alive and above all, self-actualize. We need you in this country. We need you. We need to experience your gifts and talents. So don't die in that toxic relationships. Wow. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's so beautiful. I, I know someone back there at home is really touched by what you just said. Because mm -hmm. we, we, we see this on social media. We see this on our televisions daily, yeah. daily basis. Mm -hmm. But we keep ignoring. And, and I really like what you just said. Because it's so touching. Even personally to me, it's mm -hmm. so touching. So it's a message. I'll pass it out there. Thank and I'm you. glad I'm using this Miss Moini TV platform to encourage people who are in toxic relationships. Oh, yes. People who are suffering and they don't know what to say. So my last step will be get to know who you are completely yeah get to know who you are because once you know who you are you will not allow anyone to give you substandard treatments and you would arise and shine and do what you want to do like you will not entertain anything that does not represent you around you and it starts with you if you're in that toxic relationship as uh, dr susan has just said and she's covered it all i don't want to to say anything on that let it start with you. First, pray to God that you get the courage to admit you're in a toxic relationship. That you get to the courage to admit that this is not the person that... Maybe he was, he was the person, but he's no longer the person. Or she was the person, but she's no longer the person. So how do you move on from that? Because stop building your own grave. You're still too young. It, it doesn't matter. Life has to be lived, as Dr. Susan has said. Remember, they say when we go low, they, we go high. So stay tuned to further and more interactive activities like this, Miss Mwini on Miss Mwini TV. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, just go there and don't leave without uh, leaving a comment about the show was and what you've just uh, shared today. How beneficial is it to you as a person? You can keep asking your questions so that as we come up with a part two for, for the next show next week, we'll get to know what are we going to pick up, what are we going to answer and how do we go about it. I know relationship is wide, but today we just tried to cover the little that we can do during this time of COVID-19 so that you have a peace of mind when you're at home. And if you feel like you're so bored, this is the place to be at Miss Moini TV. Until next time, see you, God bless you, and may you be encouraged. I love you all. <music>